Good morning, everyone. I'm Prashant. Today, we will be seeing the docu DocuSign feature of uh, Fusion. For that, we need to first create a DocuSign, DocuSign account. So DocuSign provide a 30 days trial so you can create account using your mail ID. So I have just used one of the mail ID and created my account. My account number got created like this. Then you need to click on settings. Once you click on setting, you need to scroll down and you need to go what you need to fetch the um, account ID, user ID. So these details are required for my configuration. So I scroll down and go to that apps and keys. So these apps and keys will give you user ID, AP, this account ID and account base URL. This is my uh, URL that I will be using in configuration. So let's go to the system here. First, enable the DocuSign feature. For that, we need to enable the opt-in feature. Go to this procurement offering. Either you can go to that offering and opt-in feature or there is a shortcut to go from just scroll down. And here, you need to click on this action. and then change feature selection. Here you need to enable this, enable electronic signature for procurement documents. So you need to enable this. Then second setup is go to your configure electronic signature for procurement document. So this one I'm doing for PO. Similarly, we, um, so similarly we can, configure for procurement contract but both will take you to same screen so it's okay either you do for procurement document or procurement contract it will do one configuration for DocuSign so you click on this task so this will give you this solution provider DocuSign username so this username I can see I have taken from here what is my username then account number. I have not taken the account number. If you see this is screen, I have not taken account number. This is the account ID. This password and confirm password is my DocuSign password, password of this account. Then account ID and endpoint URL. What is the account ID? This is the account ID. So copy it and uh, next is account base URL or URI. So that will be endpoint URL. So endpoint URL, we need to copy this. This is my endpoint URL. So once you copy this part, you can paste it here and click on validate. Once you click on validate, it will tell you this. Come, it will show you the validation status as complete and then click on save and close. If you don't click on save and close, it won't save your data. I'm just clicking on cancel I have, as I have already completed this part. Now uh, I will go here and create a PO. I have already created a PO for your reference. Let's go to purchase order. Go to manage orders. So this is the user which I'm using. Let me check whether this user have the access. Mm, okay, I, this user does not have the access of procurement view. So let me log out from this user. Sign out. I'm logging with Casey Brown user. So 
So Casey Brown then comes my, I need to go to procurement, go to purchase order, go to manage orders. So one catch in this, the user mail ID should be exactly same as my DocuSign ID. Otherwise I will get the error. So I have already updated that part. This user ID, <coughs> login ID can be anything, but user ID, that uh, mail ID for this user, whatever I have logged in should be the exact mail ID that is being used in uh, setup of my DocuSign. Now search the PO. I've done the blind search. System is a bit slow, so taking a bit time. This one, I click here. So you can see the status is pending signature because I have submitted for approval and everyone in the approval list approved it. So last action remains for the signature. Now I need to configure it that for from whom I want to get this document signed off. It can be only supplier, it can be only buyer. So I need to just enable that signature part. So I need to go to actions. So you can see this is another important part. When you create purchase order, you need to enable this checkbox. This is not this this is not coming by default from anywhere. You need to enable it manually that you require signature. Click on action. Now prepare for signature. This will appear only once it is pending for signature. So you click prepare for signature. It will open your DocuSign within this window. Okay, so DocuSign is opening. Here, this will be a PO PDF, whatever will be there. Then if I need signature, so here you will see the KC bound, that means the buyer. If I need buyer signature, I will put a symbol here. If I need additional recipient, maybe supplier or someone else. So I can add recipient and I can say supplier and their mail ID. I need to put that mail ID, Oracle demos, Oracle demos 59. So for this lease applies, I have uh, this Oracle demos. So this is not coming from any list of value. This you need to write it manually. So it's not mandatory that it's the same email ID that you have on PO. It can be anyone and click on done. So once you click on done, you need to select this another recipient and on which section of this page you need buyers or sorry, supplier signature. You can design that part. Then click on send. Thanks for contracting uh, using this Oracle contract part. That means this DocuSign thing. I click on done here. Now, one thing which I missed to tell you in this DocuSign part, you need to go to templates. After creating your DocuSign uh, login credential, you need to go to template section of that DocuSign and you need to create one blank word file and create a template. So just that is the basic requirement. Here, so what I was saying, just click on this create template, give any damn name 
and then add a document just click on upload and then you upload from your desktop and there you upload only a uh, file uh, which uh, i should say that word file blank word file so discard changes because i have already done that part now going back here so click on refresh pending signature so pending signature preparation it's giving this now as i clicked on send so i just clicked on refresh let's see what is the let's see what is the status now meanwhile uh see status is sent for signature now sent for signature means it's sent to the mail ids which i have mentioned there for the first recipient and second recipient then i need to just check i have already logged into one of the mail id this is mail id of uh, supplier which lee supplies we have mentioned sign purchase order click on review document and i don't want this just i agree and then continue so here you see it's giving from supplier i have mentioned at the um, lower side of that page so i need to sign it just adopt and sign just for this demo purpose click on finish so supplier has completed the signature mm -hmm. thanks so this process is completed now i need to go to another mailbox which is 17 this is the buyer account or yes uh, the account for which we created DocuSign and the buyer's account now they have received updated mail that lee supplies view has viewed this so but this is for signing so i can click on anyone even on sign purchase order this will be opening that part or if i go and view here in the latest mail i click on review document i will be able to see that the, i need to sign at top uh, top right section which i selected while authoring this document it is asking me to log in i should not be logging in here so if i click on my sign purchase order click on review document it should not be asking me this i to sign that part click on block click on continue see buyer it's asking to sign here and you see the lease applies has already signed it so if i click here use saved signature click on finish no i don't want to log in this is finished now go back to the order and click on refresh click on refresh status is coming sent for signature so in nutshell what we have done we have created our DocuSign account we have created a template there then we have done we have enabled the offering then we did that setup of electronic signature then we uh, enabled this checkbox on PO and then we authored this and then we selected the supplier and we provided this name and mail id of supplier to which it should be sent for signature and we selected a first party as buyer and both of them signed it so if i click on view pdf now and this is my buyer's login and if i just try to open this pdf So you can sign, see buyer has signed, supplier has signed. So 
So this completes this DocuSign demo. Thank you. Thanks a lot.